hello guys i think uh, you are doing well so already we have completed our first uh, first simple project this one the not a top project just simple using pythons how will analyze analyzing the simple kind of data that's thing we have seen in the first project now in that second project in that project we in that uh, not it's a project in some applications of the python programming language here we will see how to using the google search analysis how the google search are actually doing we have seen that kind of things in this in this video okay actually if you see if you read the entire data in the google searches means approximately 3.5 billions are google searches are keyword searches in google's daily basis means that 3.5 billion in a day that means it's near about 40000 words are searches on google in every second but the problem is google's the entire searching history are are totally hit in and googles but they are have a great library the library name is the pytrends the google have and it is using that api sorry it's not a library it's a api using that api we can analyze something not properly but analyze something about the search history of the google now in this video how to analyze that kind of keywords word we will see that things in that video now let's see how will step by step how to install how to what kind of library we are using let's see that thing okay so first i am going to our my jupiter notebook as you want you can use your, your platform i may mostly prefer my jupiter notebook because of that reasons just in it it's okay yes it's open now machine learning ml project okay now in that project uh, it will be better if we make a folder here folder just untitled folder i have to rename it rename it Seminate. Yes, rename. I have to rename. I have copied that name. Google Search Analysis. And paste here. Yes. Now it's okay. My folder is ready. It will be better. I just rename it for my better future. Just two. That's the second. One, two. Okay. that's the second folder okay now here we have to create a file just jupyter notebook file okay just from here note python 3 i am using so first i have changed the name i am change the google search analysis on that net everything's every link the git link i will paste it on the description below don't be confused about the code and data code and data everything i have pasted in the description below just you can download and uh, in future if you require just i request you please try it in your shelves after that if you face any problem then go through that go through that okay so i am pasted here in the description below okay let's start first thing that agenda that we are going to here our target is what is our target our target first we are search we are want to find the country wise search query suppose i am typing a keyword machine learning then which country are most searches that query suppose i am typing the artificial intelligence then which country are mostly searches first thing that we have seen that thing now after that we will analyze that thing bar chart wise and his various kind of chart we have seen how to analyze that as time permit okay now after that we will analyze in previous 3 to 4 years what kind of trends about that particular search okay that's things also we have seen these three main three jobs we are want to doing on that particular video now what is the plan of attack how we will progress our work so first we will import our necessary libraries now after that after importing that necessary libraries we will to have to import the corresponding api of the google searches api name is the pytrends api 
and we will see how to import that one. Now we have to pre-process the data. Now we are analyzing the data as our requirements. Okay, that's the simple thing. And also that's these two tips are common in everything, everywhere. But the main thing that we have to the main requirement is what kind of library we are want to use. That's the first job that we have to do. And second job that we have to go, what kind of API we have to require based on our requirements, based on our jobs. Okay. Let's see, step by step. Don't be confused. Step by step, slowly we will progress. Okay. So first, the thing, first thing, what first thing? First thing, we are importing the necessary libraries. Okay, I am copied it. Just paste it here. First, it's marks as a title. Okay, now I have here uh, import it. What kind of library we have to import? First, import it. So, import. Import pandas first. SPD. Just if you forget the spelling, just paste the tab key, then it will be automatically suggest you. Then just shoot from there. Now, now we have to install the PyTrains. How will how, how uh, PyTrains? Just I am showing for Google search analysis, we have to install that API PyTrains. How we will install it? We have to install the PyTrains like that. Pip install, pip install PyTrain. Okay. So, how will you install it? If you are already installed it, then do not be confused. So, suppose those who have not installed till now, how will First, you have to search on the, I think you are all using the Anagonda. So, Anagonda, Anagonda prompt you have to open. It. Okay. So, it will be better. Anagonda prompt. One thing you will show here the base. It will show here base and my current directory. You will show here. First thing, how much environment you have? Suppose I am typing here Anagonda. Anagonda. This is the GUI graphics user interface. I am using that GUI first. You will see how much environment we have created. It will be better for better understanding for when we are going to the deep learning part, TensorFlow, such kind of, then it will be help you. So, based on your system, it will take some time to open the GUI. Guys, be patient. I think. Yes, guys. Yes, it's now open. This is the Anaconda GUI. When you click that one, it will be open finally. Okay. Now, here you can see my environment. Just left side you will see environment. Click on that. Just a minute. It's loading. Just a minute, guys. So actually, it depends on your system. So this is the environment. Okay. The two environment we have created here. One is in for our one of the my project actually I have created the TensorFlow environment and one is the base. It's automatically created the base and based on the applications you have to create that one. So okay, so you here you can if you click. So I am at time progressed how to create the environment. We will see that things and on that particular environment how we will install the corresponding libraries. So now as simple, I have taken here the base environment. That's the base environment. Okay. And it's now it's open the base environment. So click on that particular base environment. Okay. This is our base. Here you can choose the environment file. Just a minute, guys. It is open now. It's loading. It's loaded. Okay, just a minute. So actually my system is not so much suitable for this kind of job because of these reasons I have to wait sometimes. Actually these things are depends on your system. 
depends on your how much system configurations you have i i have used already i5 processors 8 gb rams so so now it's what happened okay yes from here you can choose tensor flow then it will be your environment will be selected that's but i am choosing here for this particular problem i have choosing here the base okay now here you can uh, uh, install the uh, that such kind of environment you have, you have jupyter notebook pycharm and visual code uh, r studio such spider etc as your requirement you can install here okay but here i am using here the jupyter notebook for my for my choice okay now after that after choosing that environment you have to go to the command prompt of that environment now you have to write that code for installing the pi trends pip install pi t r e n d s pi trends okay just write that command here you can choose see here it's our it's our base environment home root we have it's our actual environment it's a default environment base okay if we change that i mean suppose suppose here also from here you can and activate change the environment activate tensor flow if i write that command then tensor flow is activated okay now if i choose active base okay now what happened i think its name is base root okay okay active root sorry what happened okay no don't don't Let's exit we will again open it okay it's the base now we have to install pip pip install pytrends pytrends okay just click enter actually i have already installed that api on my um, system because of the artisans is shown that requirement already satisfied but if you have not then it will take some little bit time then it is okay now it's okay it's back now i am going to the our jupyter notebook so so first we have to import the pandas till now it's done okay now we have to import our the pytrains library pytrains library one thing also also for plotting i am also import matlib plot Just a minute, mat, sorry, mat plot plo, mat plot leaf, which py pi plot, okay, as in general's plt, okay. These two library we have to import for our necessary requirement, it's okay. Now, the next thing that we have to import the pi trains. So already we have installed the pytrains. Now we have to call that pytrains on that one. From pytrains y p y t r e n. From pytrains dot. I think spelling is okay. P a y t r e n d s t r e n d s. Okay. Pytrains dot request. We have sending the request import. Oh yes, sorry, I am spelling mistake done because of the reasons. It's not yes. Now, if you just remove that one dot, then you will see request import. What do we have to import? We have to trend request trending trending report. What does the trending 
in search queries are going on okay now we have to call that one we have to call trend request t r e n d r e q trend trend request okay this one we have to now now trending already i am renaming trends here trends now trends we have to import this one trend request now it will be better if we write that import by trends Just make that title here and how to install for installing I am writing here for your for installing for installing Pytrains we have to use that command what command pip install Pytrains pip install pytrends okay that's the simple command i think till now all the things has done yes it's okay now we have to find the keywords now second step second step importing the these two step we have already done now we have to pre-process the data actually in the in the trends we have to pre-process the trends based on our requirement so pre-processing step now it has the pre-processing pre-processing step okay so first thing we have to load our keywords based on the trends okay so this is our trends just copy it trends dot what load build play load okay build play load what we have to load based on the keywords so keyword list so one thing guys if you this is a function one type of function this one if you want to know the details of the functions then you have to press the shift plus tab key suppose i am pressing here shift plus tab then you can see here the details of that functions here just click here the details of the functions you can see so this is the input that we have keyword list categories time frame which time frame stood to five years five days geography everything sir instance so only just i am required actually only we have to take here the keyword list okay key list okay key list or suppose suppose first i am taking the machine learning i am interested to search this thing machine learning okay this keyword now i am interested only so first first i have taken it now we are interested to which country so uh, this is our first country which this is our first target that we want to achieve so analyzing this is our first this is the target uh, searching with country wise so because of the art reasons we have to take our data data is equals to what data is equals to will be trends from that trends dot what data is what uh, we have to take here the uh, the country wise interested by region region wise interest yes this one interested by region wise yes this one okay now done now first we have to sort that data region wise okay so sorting it first data is equals to data dot sort 
we have to sort sort by values sort values okay which by this by machine learning keywords sorry guys by the keyword machine learning okay now we have to ascending ascending false because we want to descending order actually we want to so that is the simple thing now we have to find that hit data dot hit okay and print data suppose you are want to also want to find that data dot hit okay let's see how much yes this is the top five countries using the machine learning one yes first one is india second is usa third one is united states uk usa not malaria this one the top five countries suppose i am here 10 then you can see yes i think you will understand machine learning okay now the suppose i am here using the another type of things suppose i have using the print data if i use in data then what happen let's see same thing but it's another format this is the machine learning keyword as your requirement you can type here the keywords machine learning here i am applying the machine learning okay i think guys you will understand the thing now now suppose i am using here only machine only learning i am using here not machine now let's think it's changing or not think learning yes this is the country stop country stop 10 countries if only i have print the data then what happened yes guys then you can see 250 rows they have seen 250 countries name they have suggested here if i have writing the machine learning and only print the data then what happen let's see it yes this is the 250 actually in default if you just type it it, it gives the 250 countries name in default okay I think you will understand till now you will understand now in next step we will just plot that data okay okay guys till now have you think you understand the thing so suppose let's I am only using the 10 values top 10 yes this is the top 10 countries geographic region names and corresponding keywords it's it's better that uh, machine learning is most searchable keywords in india i think it's for proud it is the proud it for us okay now let's plot the bar chart of that particular regions so plotting the bar chart plotting plot the visualize the bar chart okay it's the title will be visualization visualization okay visualize the bar chart i make that heading okay so first uh, we have to make the i have to just reform the data first thing data dot index 
reset index indexing because we have want to plot the bar chart so because of that reason we have to indexing first based on the countries as well so reset what reset just tap reset index reset index then we want to plot it then we want to plot it for which in the x axis we interest to write the geo name okay so x here will be geo name just copy it okay, sorry geo name and in y axis it will be machine learning what this value machine learning because these keywords now we are search here searching here machine learning okay now as your requirement we have to set your font size thick size fig thick size equals to suppose i have written here for 15 5 as our requirement and what kind of plot we want to kind is equals to bar okay bar plot we want to plot it here now the question is which style you want to use as your requirement just type it on google style of the bar chart how to plot it is everything has available freely on google and youtube everywhere you can find it okay that's not a major issue but you have to invest your time onto that that's the proof so style use with style we are want to use here just press the tab okay style use suppose um, suppose one style that i have taken from the google uh, five Five thirty eight. This style five thirty eight. Five thirty eight. Five thirty eight. Okay. This style I want to use. Plt dot show. Simple thing dot so so let's see how it look like yes just a minute it's processing yes yes sky is actually that problem is you i have using the 250 countries yes so first we have to run it yes now after that we have to plot this Yes, what happened, guys? Print data, data hits, it's okay. Yes, I have taken here five countries. I have done something. Why it's actually plotting 250 countries name only I have interested this one. So let's see. Let's see more clearly. Guys, you can see here the mistake that I have done. I have not loaded the data into the new frame. So we have to load it. Data is equals to only I have print the data okay but i am not load it here so here i have to load the data first data head, head is equals to so data head is equals to data i have to load it first so first i have taking here the 10 data so now it's okay yes it's 10 data now if we run after that then it will be plotted only 10 
ओके यस जस्ट फॉर्म फर्स्ट आई हैव टू दिस देन आई हैव टू रन दिस देन आई हैव टू रन दिस यस देन आई हैव टू जीरो 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 यू कैन सी यस दिस इज द नेम if we write it here pi what happen is not a valid word okay hist okay bar no problem as you recommend you can search it on google and you can use it so this is the top 5 country according to their name okay now let's i think you will understand how to plot actually based on the size also you can change the plot size you can change it now now let's try third thing that we have to analyze so third thing this is the that things we have done the third thing is last 3 to 4 years trends of that particular keyword searches what are the trends actually increase or decrease such kind of data we want to access okay let's see just make it as title trends of the particular just i am using here the same keywords machine learning as your requirement just change it in yourself the all the code i am pasted in the description below just don't be confused so as your requirement you can change it it will be most suitable for the business purpose to analyze the keywords it's actually trending keywords or not that's kind of okay so let's see how to apple how to, how will analyze the past last past 3 to 4 years data so first we have to use the data is equals to find the data is equals to trends request trend request if you want to what are the funds corresponding input values for that particular functions then just press the shift tab then you can find h l e n u s just sub just i am taking that these two values these two values everything has okay time out 2 to 5 these two values i have taking here just paste it yes h l is equals to 360 T J H sorry E N U S T sixty okay now we have to find based on the keywords data dot build playload Build payload. Same key list. What key list? Two. Key list two will be our machine learning. The same case. The same keyword we are using here. Machine learning. Now. interest over time actually how we want to refine the data data will be you have to refine the data interest over time okay now next thing we have to use the sub plots figure size that's kind of thing we have to use here so i am using as my own choice now if you interested then you can edit it in your in in your requirement in your choice so that's not a major issue sub plots that's the figure size
suppose I am interesting at 2015. Okay. Now data is what data which data we have interested machine learning this keyword corresponding keyword. Plot. Now same style I have using here the style the plot style use is equals to this one. This style I am using here. Now title as you requirement just uh, as previous we have seen already as previous. We have seen plot dot title. Plot dot title is equals to what? The total Google searches on for machine learning. Google searches machine learning past four years. And is font site, font site, font sorry, font size. Sorry for that. Font weight. It's suppose font weight. I am going to use here bold. Okay. Now you want also you can add the labeling here. I am adding the label. So X level, suppose X level. What are the x level? Suppose in x level, just in the plot x level, we want to use the year, which years we are interested. Year and y level. In y level, we have total counts. How many counts? Total count. total count we are going to and then at last we have to show plot show. okay that's the simple thing i think every line you can understand that thing what i am doing here let's run that yes train requires objects has no attributes interest sorry i have done some mistake intercept interest it will be interest so sorry for that interest over time here est e n t l e s t yes now you can see machine learning yes this is the keyword that that as time increases, as time increases, this keyword hatch. Sorry, guys, one thing you will notice here machine learning, L E A R. Machine learning, every word. Sorry for that, guys. Sorry for that spelling mistake. Machine learning. Yes, now you can see the data. Yes, now this is the data. Machine M A C H I N E. Its spelling is okay. A L E A R L A R L E R N I N G. Okay, now it's okay. You can <laughs> just I am doing that mistake, but Google's also give that particular results. Also, this kind of keywords also search it on Google's. Okay, massing learning. I think now it's okay. A L E A R N I N G. A L E A R N I N G. Now just run it. Sorry for that. Now you can see original data. Massing learning is more searchable in China than Singapore. Then South. Then what? Then it's the uh, Singapore Saint Helena. Then India. Okay, most searchable one in China. Sorry for that. 
I'm really sorry for my spelling mistake. So machine learning is the most searchable keywords in China, then Singapore, then India, like that. Here also machine learning. FDY I have made mistake. Sorry for it. Really sorry. Yes. Now if we run it, then you can see China, Singapore, Hong Kong, like that. So also here we have to change that one. Machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, what are strains, it's actually, just a minute, yes, now you can see, guys, you can see just dramatical results before past four, five years, it's the 2017. After that, how much trends has increased? Just see it. Machine learning keywords. 2017, it is the 30 times, 30 per 30 percentage. Then 2017, after 2000 entry. Means after mostly after 2017, that the search trends are totally how much increased. You can see from the data. Now we are on 2021. Now I am recording that video in 23rd July 2021. This much. So I think the AI or machine learning, how much is advanced topics in the future generations. I think from here, from this analysis, you can understand. Okay. This is a simple thing. This is a simple business problem. Um, Pythons, you can easily doing that kind of jobs. Easily we can doing that kind of jobs. I think from this discussion, one to one, everything you have understand. If you have any problem, please guys, please guys comment below. I am here, always here to help you. And I request you, my previous videos are already available on my website. Just link given, the given links are given in the YouTube channel description. And, and also, I mean, about sections, you can also get that link. Just go through, but go through that particular link and just log in using your email address or something else. Just log in and you can access in freely. I promise you guys, I have everything i have done freely you can access freely just for for the um, spamming issue i am just make that system in login system because of that reasons so just using your log, you email id you logged in and you can access everything here okay so i think guys from this discussions you will understand how much google analyzes search analysis how will doing that simple song using that free api google api okay so we'll see in the next next some projects next some useful analysis okay till now bye